Yes, dear friend, welcome back to the channel. As I promised, two hours to the game, I promised to bring you the full team lineup. My predicted lineup for the game tonight. That is why I'm here. I'm not here to joke. It is Chelsea and it is blue. London is blue. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What is your prediction? Let me know from the comment section. Are you predicting 2-1, 2-0, 3-0? Brighton. This is Brighton we are talking about. We are not talking about Manchester City. We are talking about Brighton. So you need to be confident in your prediction, my dear friend. Be confident in your prediction. Before I end this video, I will give you my predicted score line. But for now, quickly, in my goal post, as usual, usual suspect, Sanchez, because I have not seen Petrovic, you know, in a goal post yet since his arrival. So Sanchez is still in my goalpost. Yes, Sanchez. Sanchez. In defense, in the absence of Rhys James and Kukurela, I have a replacement. I have the Axel Di Sassi. I have Thiago Silva. Benoit Badoshelli. Levi Cowell as my defense. The Axel Di Sassi. Thiago Silva. Benoit Badoshelli and Levi Cowell in my defense. In my defense. You get that? That is how many? I said it's Sassi, Thiago Silva, Benoit Badoshelli, and Levi Cowell in my defense. And I also have Ann Matson. <coughs> and Matson. Well, I am giving you the players both on the bench, but let me limit it to only my starting 11. Axel Di Sassi, Thiago Silva, Beno Badeschelli, and Levi Cowell. Those are my defenders for today's game. In midfield, I have Conor Gallagher, Mois Casaido, Enzo Fernandez, and Leslie. <laughs> Leslie is on the bench. Leslie is on the bench. Conor Gallagher, Mois Casaido, and Enzo. Three man midfield. Three man midfield. In attack, this is where the problem is. In my attack tonight, I am presenting you, ladies and gentlemen, I am presenting you in attack Christopher Nkuku, Raheem Sterling, Kopama, and. <laughs> I'm taking it again. In attack, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my attackers for tonight's game. Kopama, Raheem Sterling, Christopher Nkuku, and Amando Broja in my attack. I'm taking it over again. Kopama, Raheem Sterling, Christopher Nkuku, Amando Broja in my attack. Meaning, Amando Broja is leading the attack. Christopher Nkuku is playing the number 10 role. Sterling on the left flank, Kopama on the right flank. Here, my bench is rich. I would have loved to make use of Moidrick instead of Sterling. But for a reason, I want to keep Moidrick on the side and go in for Sterling in the starting 11. But as you can see, we have a rich bench. Noni Maduke is on the bench. Nicholas Jackson is on the bench, and in Moidrick is as well on the bench. In midfield, we still have Leslie Ogochuku on the bench. In defense, we have a Martin on the bench. We have Josh Brookin on the bench, and another goalkeeper of Gilchrist on the bench. Those are my team for tonight's game. Before I conclude, let me give you a reason why I made this selection. Let me give you a reason why I made this selection. Mauricio Pochettino enters another crucial week as Chelsea manager with plenty of the line. Plenty on the line. The Blues are already struggling in mid-table and could end the weekend as low as 14. We could end the weekend as low as 14 if we are not able to win tonight's game. Brighton, who we face tonight, are already six points ahead with West Ham in ninth. 
clear with in ninth position with Manchester United to follow in midweek. Ha, huh, this is shaping up to be defining early period for the club and for the team. This is what made the made, made me to force myself to make sure in Kuhu coming in, we need his services at this moment. We are 10th, mid-table. Brighton is ahead. West Ham is ahead. Manchester is ahead of us. And we are playing Manchester United next. Now, we will have to overcome the Seagulls. Fresh from their latest successful European adventure without more than half of first choice back line two. Now, Rhys James is suspended for the game after being booked twice in the loss to Newcastle. Paul Macucrella is also out. The Spanish left back has been filling in for Ben Chiwell and Levi Cowell on the left as well as James and Malogusto at right back too on occasions. He picked up a fifth yellow card for the season despite being a rotation option and is banned for the game. Despite he being on a rotation, he still have a fifth yellow card of the season already. That should tell you that we are receiving too many cards. Gusto himself is likely to be out with injury. Not too many news. Pochettino said on Friday, when asked about his squad, we don't believe that we can recover some players as quickly as possible. But there is still one training session more tomorrow, which was yesterday. So we can see if some players are available or not. Right now, I can tell you for a fact that Nkuku is available and he's in the, he is in the match day squad. Starting 11, it's my prediction. Gusto will be one of the, those fighting for his place, but a 20-year-old was added to the list of injuries released on Friday and is a serious doubt. Given the lack of senior options available, Trevor Chaloba and Wesley Fufana are still injured. It leaves the academy with a chance to fill the bench. That is why I brought in Gilchrist. That's why I brought in Gilchrist over there. All right, in midfield, and it is likely to be the same old story, though most Casado may well get himself a start after not being deemed fit to go from off last week. Romeo Lavia is a doubt and isn't expected to make the squad at all. But Christopher Nkuku, however, could be in the lineup. Could be in the lineup. That is why I am predicting uh, in my heart that Christopher Nkuku is in the lineup for tonight's game. Well, you want to know my scoreline prediction? Against Brighton, I'm going for 3-0. Yeah, I'm very confident. Chelsea is going for 3-0 against Brighton this evening. If you want to bet, remember to go to bet winner. <laughs> if you want to bet, go to bet winner. Go to bet winner. If you have not yet registered, the link is right there in the description. Click on the link, register with them, and bet with bet winner. Use my promo code TIM1979, T-I-M-1979, and win great. You can bet on any other matches that are being played across the globe and you win big. On that note, my predicted lineup again is 3-0. I'll see you just after the game for my match analysis. Immediately after the game, I'll be right here for my team or my game analysis. See you then. Shalom and peace.